Well, hello, and welcome back to another episode of Geek with Glasses Live. On today's video, we're going to go ahead and do, as promised, that full product review of the Odyssey Lower East Side media speakers. So I've been listening to these and using them for just about a week now since I did the unboxing video, and I've done uh, a whole gamut of uh, tests with these uh, speakers. I've got them hooked up to the system behind me, which is my gaming rig. I've played some Battlefield 3. I've played some Diablo 3. Um, I've played Lord of the Rings Online with them. I've done some Pandora music streaming. I have also listened to you know some high quality lossless MP3s uh, with the speakers, as well as done some like Hulu and Netflix you know movie watching with the speakers to kind of put them through the full range of you know audio test and uh, to, to tell you what I think about the uh, speakers. And first and foremost, one of the things that I want you to keep you in mind is that whenever somebody's doing a review on something like speakers or headphones, anything that produce audio, the review is going to be very subjective. And the reason being is that what may sound good to me may not sound good to you. You know, uh, it, it's just like when you compare things like car audio speakers or home entertainment center speakers. You know, somebody may like JBL versus Polk versus Boston Acoustic. You know, they're all going to be the same type of speaker, but there's going to be a certain sound or what's called as the image. The imaging of that speaker and the clarity of that speaker is going to be liked by different people in different ways. So I just want to go ahead and throw that out there. You know the pros and cons of these speakers. Um, you know there's a, a decent list, but I want to make sure that uh, you know what I like or dislike about these speakers as far as what how they sound. You may or may not like that. You know um, when it comes to how you enjoy your audio. So let's jump into the review. First of all, I will say a couple of things. I really do love the design, and I talked about that in the in the unboxing video. They're a very stylish and very uh, elegant looking speaker. When they're sitting on your desk, they are you know pretty big for for a satellite speaker where it's just you know dual satellite without a subwoofer or anything. However, that's because of the big you know subwoofer that sits in the back on both of these units. You know it's got to have some area space to move the air around with that big of a subwoofer on the back. So one of the drawbacks that that brings is lots of vibration. When I'm playing Battlefield and when I'm listening to any music that has any kind of a you know low frequency response or, or bass, these things rattle like crazy. They don't rattle and make noise, but they shake the desk. I have a you know I have my desk back here that I play my games on, and and I do, and it's actually an L shape. I have my uh, work side over here. And when these things are, are pumping out some audio, they vibrate like crazy. My entire desk actually shakes. It's pretty cool, actually. When I'm playing Battlefield, it kind of gives me that rumble effect. Um, the, the little rubber feet on the bottom definitely do a really good job of dampening the audio, uh, dampening that vibration. If these weren't on here, these things would be dancing across the desk. Because when these little woofers are kicking in the back, they move around really, really well. Um, so with that said, audio sound, the quality of these speakers. I absolutely love, love, love the crispness and the definition of the highs. It it sounds amazing. Um, you know, spoken word, very crisp. You can hear all of the uh, you know all of the P's and the T's really, really well. When you're playing games like uh, first person shooters, specifically when you're playing Battlefield, you can hear every little ricochet of every bullet, every shell dropping on the ground, the footsteps. Very, very defined um, audio from the high end. Low end frequency. It's got a good amount of bass or low end response. It's not rumble. It's not room filling bass. These are not subwoofers. These are you know low frequency speakers in the back. Um, it's not going to give you that room or, or you know, that entire enveloping bass resonance that you would get with a subwoofer system, you know, a 2.1 satellite system where you've got two speakers and a subwoofer. Um, for a 2.0 speaker setup, some of the best quality I've heard. They've got amazing sound quality. Um, when it comes to the high ends and you know a defined good sounding bass, it's not going to be boom boom. It's not going to rattle things, but you know that the bass is there and it you know it sounds really nice. The one thing that I personally think is that lacks with these speakers is the mid in the mid range. There's there's not a lot of warmth in the sound. So and, and this is personally something that I really like. You know when I'm listening to my audio, I like crisp highs and lows, but I also like that warmth, that kind of warm mid range audio. Uh, that kind of fills the room. So at some points when I turn the volume up on these and I'm playing something like Battlefield or watching a movie, it almost kind of gets on my nerves personally. It's, it's kind of like that when the high, you know, high end sounds, those P's and those T's at high volume with these speakers, they kind of make you kind of squint because they're so sharp and they're so loud and there's no warmth in the mid range that kind of evens that out. 
Um, to me, that that is definitely something that I dislike about the speaker. It's it just doesn't have that warmth um, that kind of draws you in and, and gives you that you know overall smooth audio sound. Real clear highs, good sounding bass, no you know rumble bass. It's not gonna you know you're not gonna be playing any you know high intensely like R and B or rap music and getting the boom and the room filling bass. You'll know it's there. Um, it definitely sounds better than any other 2.0 satellite speaker that I've ever heard. Um, but that warmth feature is just something that I personally just, I can't get beyond. It's like, I love these speakers um, for the clarity. Uh, one, one benefit, like, um, you know, they, they perform differently with different games. Like on Battlefield, I love the clarity, but uh, again, there's some of that, uh, that mid-range tone that is, that is just a little bit desired. Um, at higher speaker, at higher volumes is when I notice this more. At, at lower volumes, it's not so bad. Um, it's when you crank them up and you want to really get, you know, enveloped in the sound and the audio, having the volume loud, that I think that they start to lack a little bit. The mid the mid range drops off. Um, playing Diablo three, perfect. I love them. They reproduce the audio from from Diablo three perfectly. I absolutely love them. When watching movies again, um, spoken dialogue is very crisp, very easy, very here to, uh, easy to, uh, to to discern what they're saying. But there's that warmth in the audio that I just don't necessarily think is there. Um, and I've tried that in multiple volume ranges, which uh, it, I just can't seem to reproduce. So um, that's one thing that I really dislike about them. There's one other drawback that I definitely don't like about the system. So there is a volume knob on the other speaker, which is on the other side of my system, and uh, it's the volume and the power switch. So the the speakers have a, a self sleep mode where they automatically go to sleep. There's a little green LED when the, when the system's powered on. When they go into sleep mode, that green LED turns red. I kind of was expecting that the minute I started using the speaker again and you know audio was pumping through and being fed to them via the uh, the 3.5 millimeter jack from my computer, that the system would wake back up, but it doesn't. So there's been numerous times where I've been expecting to hear audio and I forgot I gotta press that power button to turn the system, to turn the speakers back on. So that's one thing that is a little bit of a drawback. It'd be nice if they kind of had a wake on on audio um, uh, feature built into them. But um, one other thing I'm not gonna do, and, and the reason being is, uh, you know, I'm not gonna do an audio sampling through the speakers. I'm not gonna play some music or play a game through the speakers because it's being picked up by a tiny little lav mic. And most importantly, the audio that these reproduce, you're never gonna hear them because what you're gonna hear when you play it back is the audio that's being produced by whatever speakers you're using on your computer. It's gonna sound like your speakers. So you're not actually gonna hear what these sound like. There's, there's a bunch of videos out there. And, you know, I've actually looked at a couple of the reviews of these videos that other YouTube have done and you know I play them back on my Mac and I happen to have a Bose series um, I think it's the three series Bose on my Mac so when I when I listen to these um, you know the playback videos when the, when the bass kicks in my whole room rumbles and you know I get this really enveloped bass sound and that's because I've got a subwoofer hooked up to those speakers so obviously it sounds like it produces a lot more bass than it does because you know that's what I'm playing it through so I'm not actually gonna do that but, um, you know so again just to kind of hit on the, the pros and cons design and clarity um, and size, and for a 2.0 speaker system, some of the best I've ever heard. Uh, price point on these is $199. You can get them on the Odyssey website, and you can also get them at the Mac Store or the Mac Store online for uh, for $199. And again, that you know, some of that pluses um, is that fiber optic input that's on the other the other speaker, which has the input. It's got the 3.5 millimeter, so you can plug your iPod, any iDevice, any mobile device that you can get a mail to mail plug. You can plug into these and use these as media speakers. Um, and then with that fiber optic, it's really nice. You can plug directly into your Apple TV um, or anything else with a digital out um, audio source. Like you know, if you've got a Direct TV receiver that has digital out, you could plug that in, or any media player, you could plug that in and use these as your you know, your primary speakers. If you wanted to find a nice set of speakers to accompany your, your big TV, you know, a lot of these big screen TVs, they're, they're nice, they're big, beautiful, you know, images, but the speakers are kind of lacking. And, you know, if you're looking for something to kind of boost that sound and get better audio quality, these would be amazing for that. Um, so there's, there's a bunch of applicable uses for these speakers at 199, uh, a little steep. Um, and the reason I say a little steep is because for around the $200 point, you could go out and buy a 2.1 speaker system that has, you know, a subwoofer that will definitely fill your room or fill the space that you put these speakers with bass. So if you're looking for low end frequency at that price point, you might be able to, you know, find something. Obviously, you need the space for that. So if you're looking for something compact, you're looking for something to produce, you know, very crisp highs and very clear audio. These are great speakers. Um, I do not like that that mid tone level. That's just a personal preference. Sorry, I hit the mic there. That's a personal preference. You may not care. Um, 
So uh, yeah, that's it. That's the Odyssey Lower East Side media speakers. Um, I do one of the things that I definitely like. I noticed is you know I've got my Alienware back here and I have it. You know it's it's the the flat black with the red. I use the red color on the LED. And then I've got my Gamecom speakers, which I, I do a lot of my <laughs> which are flat black and red. So it's actually kind of cool. These fit in to you know my gaming rig really really well. So I know I mean that's completely pointless to say, but I just thought I'd throw it in there. Anyways, um, thanks for watching. As always, um, these speakers were provided by Odyssey directly to the Technati blog. So please go check out technati.co.uk for a full written review of the speakers, um, as well as the unboxing video and links to other news and reviews. And as always on my site, uh, geekwithglasses.net, twitter.com slash geekwithglasses, and facebook.com slash geekwithglasses. So until the next video, thanks for watching. Um, as always, please like, subscribe, and comment. Every time you do it, it helps me out, and I appreciate all the support from my viewers. Thanks a lot, and you all have a great day. Bye-bye.